We're live. Hey guys. Let's see. Let's see who joins. Let's just light a little bright. Possibly. Possibly. Just no overhead lighting. Overhead lighting is literally the drag queen's worst friend. <laughs> it's everybody's worst. It's like friend. your biggest enemy, truthfully. Or holding the phone too low. Oh yeah, like you can literally have a completely different picture no matter like where you place that phone. Hi, Elliot. Hello. Can you explain to me what's really going on? Because I've never been YouTube live before. So, um, so we have uh, three people on right now. Woohoo! <laughs> Big two money! Two thumbs up already. And, you know, I always say, though, seriously, like if I have three people in the audience, which some people complain about, um, I would rather have three than zero, Four. but even zero, I'm still going to have a great show because like, I perform literally in the living room by myself all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm the one I can perform in front of the mirror or the living room or, you know, like just for my boyfriend by myself and I'm still having a good time. So three viewers, four viewers. But three, yeah. Four, yeah. No, and plus it'll build and people, people will get the notification and they'll start rewatching it and then it'll stay up. And oh, so it can it stay on YouTube. You can it's, that's why. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and I'll update the thumbnail and stuff. And then this is our chat. So okay. Elliot goes on all talk my to live us. streams. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, yeah, I love this. Um, it's really depressing because I'm 22 and I'm Hi, the Will. worst at technology in the world. The oh, worst. We have William and Will. See, William I like my live streams and because they're just, that's how I do all my like mm -hmm. episode reactions or stuff because I like to get the input from people. Mm -hmm. I, somehow I'm like way more comfortable talking on live stream than I am on like recording stuff. I weirdly am too. <laughs> I like live interviews. I like interviews besides like something that they're like, okay, you have 10 takes to make this perfect. Mm -hmm. And I'm and like, obviously it takes me like literally all 10 takes. Yeah. But if they're like, Hey, you have one take and it's live. I'm like, perfect. Bam. Yeah. Done. It's so weird. I think it's cause like the pressure. It's like, okay, yeah. you have to be there. I don't know. For me, I just feel like I'll do live streams in the middle of the night, whatever. Blair should have been in the top this week. Yes. Oh, I was gonna thank say, you. That's I was gonna bring That's so sweet up. Of you to say. Thank you. I was going to bring that up. Um, should we talk about her looks? Hi, Tammy. Hello, Tammy. You went to school at Ball State. Shout out to Indy Queen. Yay, Queen. shout out to Ball State. <laughs> is that where oh, you went? No, well, I almost went to Ball State, actually. But Ball State is in um, Muncie, Indiana, which mm -hmm. is about 45 minutes to an hour of where I grew up in Indianapolis. Uh, but it's a super, super good school. It's really known for theater. I know, know that. Ball State. Yeah, and uh, Sutton Foster is like a professor there oh, now. Oh, wow. She's on Broadway. She does like a Skype um uh, class there she's oh. super cool but like the the campus is stunning it's beautiful beautiful so that was from tammy what you said mm -hmm. well hey tammy i hope you're enjoying ball state or if you're an alum i hope you enjoyed it well, this is our chat over here that's why i wanted to do it on my laptop so I we could see the chat we just in anger when rue said blair st Clair, you're all safe <laughs> <laughs> actually okay <laughs> you want a real tea on that yes. i was so happy because yes, we they asked us afterward you know like in our interviews like how did you feel and some people were like bitch i should have been on top and all I could think of was like, thank you so much that I was safe because that week we were all like on pins and needles because out of the three looks, we brought two from home. Yeah. See, that's what was confusing mm -hmm. for me because they didn't really explain that. Didn't explain I went that. back and we watched the instructions. I'm like, some of that stuff, like when Aquaria was saying, I hand dyed my fur. I'm like, girl, you were not dipping fur she, she in hand dyed, She hand dyed her fur, but, but at home. In, at home. You know, before she came. And in. that was not explained. Right, and I was right, like, right. some of those looks did not look homemade or whatever they, they did not look like they were made in the world right there, there's no way and how it, much did you have a day or so they gave us the challenge probably around noon um when we were filming and we had to finish we went back to our hotel around two in the morning that day mm -hmm. and then we had the next morning we had three hours to get in drag and to finish our looks mm -hmm. so i like whipped out a wig and then put my face on and then got ready for the first look and then we filmed all three looks in that day too so when we filmed all three looks we were like okay well our makeup can't be too crazy for like runway two and three or for the first one. So I was like, okay, how can I plan out a neutral looking face and just add? So I added a little bit more for the second look. I put a bunch of stones in my face. And the third look, that's why I just put like a bunch of pink and glitter and stuff oh, everywhere. I live, I live. What did I tell you when I saw that look? I mean, I took <laughs> notes when I watched. And I said, Pheromone just went out and bought six more packs oh, no. of highlighter. We just got out highlighter. <laughs> <laughs> I um, actually, it's strange because people think that I'm like a total like pink kind of person. But before that look, I have never really done pink look. Pink hair, never. I never done like oh, any like, pink. You, so now I do. You got that love beautiful wigs yeah. by Vanity. We were oh, just I, up in the drag room looking at that. Hair. Yeah, so I, I was fun. But we brought so out of the three looks, we had to construct the last one there. The first two we brought from home, and what we were told when we were preparing for the show is one look was called Glamorous North Pole, 
And the other one was called Itty Bitty Bikini. So most girls brought like a snow queen look mm -hmm. or they brought like, um, I almost brought like my look that I brought was like a nod to the North pole in Santa Claus and like Mrs. Claus. So mine was like a big <laughs> red gown cloak with like white fur and white trim. And I had like white hair and it was beautiful, but it made absolutely no sense with the challenge yeah. because the challenge right. said it was like talking about the climate. So it was like yeah. hot and cold. It sounds like they kind of flipped them around because the North pole. Yeah. Uh, was, like they said fur for Miami and then even North pole wear a bikini, even doing the show, doing the challenge and even watching it last night on TV. I still, to this day, do not understand what we did. All I knew in my mind was I had to have one look that was supposed to be like a bikini like look for like hot weather. One look was supposed to be cold, so fur of some sort, and then the other look had to be um, like the last ball on earth, Martian Alganza extravaganza. With this one too was so weird because Rue said Martian Eleganza extravaganza, right? Yeah. Well, when we get assigned a challenge or something, we meet with producers and they tell us like all the rules of the challenge. That way we know you can't stand on the runway and be like, well, I wasn't informed. Well, they told you the rules. Oh. And the rules were create a futuristic look for the last ball on earth. Mm -hmm. And so I was going by the rules and the rules were like, okay, I was like, okay, well, that doesn't mean Martian. What is future to you? So future to you could be different future to me and it could be Martian to you and not Martian to me. To me, So we yeah. were all the whole week. That's why I was so happy to be safe because I was like, well, yeah. my, first of all, I'm going in like these three looks. One of the looks that I brought for the North Pole look was not what I wore because that's not what the challenge asked for. And then two, you know, I, I wasn't doing a Martian look. I was like, what am I, you know, I was doing Martian f future for me. It was, we were so confused. I, I, I lived because... That now that you've explained it, it makes sense to me because mm -hmm. if it was the last fall on earth, I would wear all my makeup and yeah. you literally wore, oh, I wore all the makeup. All the glitter. <laughs> all of so I thought, okay, so I was like, what can I wear that's like the last fall on earth, kind of futuristic, kind of extraterrestrial, but not Martian ish and campy and costumey? Because it's still fashion. Yeah. And you made that. In the Thank you. Room. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. made it. I, we were looking at the outfit upstairs. Um, we just filmed a piece uh, for Blair's YouTube channel, mm -hmm. which we'll probably be posting tomorrow Ooh, yay, if Dead off. gets edited, otherwise Sunday. Um, and Blair goes into great detail on all the outfits and all the yeah. outfits. Yeah, and the reason why um, that I chose looks that I did. Yeah, but let's take some questions from the people. So, um. Somebody wanted to know uh, what year you were when you, you what year you were. Tammy Miss wants to know what year you were Miss Indiana. I was Miss Indiana, Miss Gandiana, two thousand sixteen. And, and you so were that twenty. So that, I was twenty one. Just turned twenty one in two thousand sixteen. So when you win, you win. It says like twenty sixteen, but you actually serve out the year twenty seventeen, pretty much. Is that how it works? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Um. William says, girl, I haven't seen a tuck yet. People say it's really good. You know what? That episode for me, I enjoyed that mm -hmm. episode because it didn't feel so drama. The other episode before wore me out mm -hmm. and then untucked. So I was like, almost like, I, I don't want to watch untucked because I want to like just stay in a good mood. Right. I don't want to get like drawn down from you. What's know? good about untucked, what people don't know is that untucked is real. It's not fake drama that they just put up there. It's not. By that point in time, we have been mm -hmm. on the main stage of the runway for hours filming what you guys see in five minutes has been filmed for hours and like we have been you know working at the challenge for two days three days sometimes um filming everything so we normally go from like mini challenge start the challenge the same day usually kind of finish and then film the runway the next day it's usually two process so by the time untuck comes the last of the two days the last of filming the episode you're exhausted yeah. one Two, your feet are killing you. That's why everybody always has their shoes on. Oh, like, oh my gosh. If you see me, I'm like hobbling around because <laughs> my feet hurt so bad. And you're just hungry and tired. Mm. And then they give you like means to create drama. So it's just, it's real drama. For yeah. Real, for real, for real. And probably maybe that's why they have so much drama because you're tired, you're hungry. They give people, you know, alcohol and mm -hmm. they, it just seemed like last yeah. night they just, like Eureka said, she just was trying to, Poke, poke the bear. Poke the bear. Poke, don't poke the bear. I wouldn't poke the bear. I understand what she was doing because she was trying to see like how Vixen would react in a situation if she threw her, yeah. you know, off a little bit. But why so, would you do that at the end of a long day of filming? It's a mind like, game. And I felt so bad because like it's they do left to smoke and you're sitting, you're sitting there like, oh god, how do I? Like, I'm sitting there the whole time, just like I'm just gonna stay out of this. Yeah, like, exactly. And then they leave and they leave you with the two, and you're just like, 
Oh, uh-huh, she did say that. Well, yes. I know they were both upset, so yeah. I was like, okay, what's the better of the two? To go out with them while they're and I don't smoke. Right? Yeah, and I don't smoke while they're fuming. I'm like, same here, where they're fuming. So what the camera didn't show is I actually took a break. I actually like walked off set for a few minutes and mm-hmm. um, I grabbed the bathrobe because I was freezing, and I just kind of like hung out. Mm-hmm. I took a bathroom break, got a Red Bull, chilled for a little did bit. Did everything you could. To yeah. Get out of that and, room. Then came, and then they came back and they were still arguing. I was like, <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Like, I was like, we're safe. It's cool. I know. That Chill. was the thing. It's like, at Mon- is it Monique? Yeah, Monique. Monique, why does she think she should have won every everything? Maxi challenge, mini challenge. You know, I She's will, always thinks she should have won. I will won. say this, though. Like, if you think you should win every challenge, props to you because that's amazing confidence. Because yeah. I would rather have that mentality than like, oh, I was total crap and not believing in yourself. Like, I would much rather be overconfident. Yeah, true. It's just, it's getting old, her saying, I, I should have won, but, but yeah, like that, that was, the, I don't know. I liked the episode a lot. Though. Let's see. We have some, who did you get along with? Okay. I'll, I'll talk about this one. About I, don't the mind. Vixen yeah, edit? I don't mind that. Yeah. I want, I want to hear, I want people so to hear what you the have question to say. Asked, I don't know if you wish to comment on this, but what does it say? Oh, there we go. But what from what you witnessed, would you say the Vixen's edit is, is it biased or manipulative? Um, so I will say the Vixen in real life is a really good friend of mine. She's a sweetheart. She's really, really, really nice. She's kind. She's loving. The two of us really clicked on day one when we first had the first challenge Mm -hmm. because she kind of like saw that I was quiet and needed someone to talk to. And she came off really strong at first and not many people were talking to her. Yeah. So she made it, you know, her mission to come talk to me and she was really nice. We became friends since then. But, um, we talked about it a lot. And when we were filming and we filmed this months ago, uh, she just said that she was a little bit in a mind that her mind and her like headspace was a little bit more, um, a little bit nastier. Like she was a little angry and a little frustrated. And I think that's come out on camera more. Yeah. And what's a little unfortunate for her is that if you say something on camera, first and foremost, you cannot blame anything on editing right. because if you said it, you said it and it was shown right. on TV. You made it. You choice. did it. Yeah. You did it. You know, I do would say that maybe they're showing a little bit more of her frustrations than some of the good moments she had, but in all, um, she's a great person. I mean, they showed last episode, her talking with Rue and they had a good conversation yeah. and she was down to earth. That's why I was um, saying, I was hoping that we would see a little bit more of the soft side of her this mm-hmm. week, which we did um, because nobody can be like at that level all yeah. the time. Or it would be out there that everybody would hate her. And right. that's why I try not to to comment on what I've seen on, on her. Because like out of out of the cast, I have met, like I went to the premiere, some of the girls I already knew. I met six of oh, mm-hmm. the other ones I hadn't six of them. Obviously, I know Blair. So there's only five that I really haven't met, but I know some of them through social media, but not the Vixen. So mm-hmm. I'm not I'm trying my hardest not to like get my impression of her based on they're picking the moments to make an exciting and dramatic television oh, yeah. show. At the end of the day, it's VH1 television. Yeah. It, it's, <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, yeah, definitely. Um, These are the questions. Yeah, we got a lot. Um, who did you get along with best out of the queens? <sighs> That's a weird question because Miss <laughs> Cracker was my best friend there, and she's yeah. still on today like my best friend from the show. Uh, I, she and I are together like inseparable. And her – and her um, – Kate, okay, Caitlin. Yeah, dinner. I love Caitlin. Caitlin mm-hmm. used to be live here in this area. Mm-hmm. I, I'm like, wouldn't say we're like best friends, but I definitely know her. I've known her for yeah. several years. She and I are best friends, but Eureka and I were really, really close on the show, and Vixen and I were too. Uh-huh. So those are the three that I really talk about the most, but Cracker for sure. Well, I don't see you as being that girl that people have a problem with. You know, I got along with everyone. I yeah, didn't have a problem with anyone. I mean, why go there to make problems? I'm there to win. You're such an easygoing, sweet person. Oh, thanks. Doesn't <laughs> doesn't Blair look? Um, so like on TV, we were talking about how young you look. On yeah, TV. and I think I look 14 now, maybe not 12 yeah. anymore. I think maybe 17. <gasps> oh my gosh, am I like, can I go see an R rated movie now? <laughs> but your actual age is I'll be 23 next month. I can't wait for your birthday. Me too. I'm excited. I am excited too. Um, I'm surprised you didn't save like some slippers. Somebody said I ask- did have slippers, but um, I forgot. We have to like when we go to the run the main stage, we have to bring like a little knapsack bag they give us. It has all our initials <laughs> on them, and we can put like a little makeup or touch ups or uh-huh. brushes or a hairbrush. And you forgot your. Clothes. And I normally put my slippers in, but I forgot. I always forgot. Let's be honest, I forgot every week. <laughs> It's a lot to remember. You're trying to worry about your look. Yeah, I was thinking about my makeup. Because yeah. when you're on the runway, like, what are you going to wear in the untucked line? Exactly. It's the last thing I thought about. Somebody asked, is there a lot from Untucked that we don't see? Mm. 
They show, they really condense it. I mean, to that half yeah, hour. Yeah, it's only half an hour. It's probably, yeah. how long is untucked? The the probably, 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 deliberations I've heard go on it's for like a an long hour. time. Yeah, they, get deli- um, they deliberate for about an hour. So we film on top for about an hour to two hours tops. Did you prefer um, being on the runway getting evaluated or being in the untucked lounge? Um, uh, I'm chilling. So both. <laughs> I preferred getting critiqued and then coming back to chill. But uh, yeah, that, that's probably my, my preference. Because when you're safe, you know, even if I, I would rather be critiqued than just be safe. Because if you're critiqued, you're either being praised for something you did well or also being told something that can make you do better. Or else you're being told you might be lip syncing. That's true too. <laughs> you never know. Um, let's see. Am I drama or anti-drama? Do you live for the untucked episode? I mean, I oh. totally like it. I, I don't like Okay, let's see. I'm not sure. drama at all. I'm no drama. But um, I, I you can definitely find some drama to be humorous or entertaining. That's for sure. Okay. We got rid of Hans Holtz. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Sorry, we're so busy talking. Oh, <laughs> um, okay. they were making fun of climate change or raising awareness, or just not that deep. Well, I think they were kind of doing a little bit of both. I think they were kind of raising awareness, like this is a total thing that's going on these days that we don't talk about much, but also like laughing at it because it's like okay, like we're just being silly because it's a silly show. Yeah, silly it yeah. seems to be a season where they um they like we had the end of the world dating app that we yeah before. end of days my dating i mean challenge. and y'all filmed you know six eight months ago or whatever mm-hmm. like uh, it was just ago. like that mood of the of the of the i also think they wanted a reason to show like a bikini look and also like a glamorous or full look in one week you guys i want to know what was your favorite looks of blair last night let's go over them so we had the alaska first was the alaskan winter realness is that what it was Mm -hmm. gosh i even did it alaskan (laughs) winter realness and that's when i wore the 1940s barbie remake uh it was it was like inspired it wasn't a replica by any means but it was inspired by gorgeous barbie it was gorgeous i was taking notes on all i was like i'm gonna really take notes and really cover this Mm. i haven't had time to do a video on it but i was on all 33 looks and some of the on the first one i was like okay they're bathing suits so they're either interesting or they're not you mm-hmm. know and that but that one came out and i was like oh hello thank you. yes thank you I, it. if you looked at my bathing suit like realty my bathing suit was boring like just the bathing suit but i think i, think, I think from head to toe i had a fun concept i didn't think your bathing suit was boring i thought oh, it was thanks. i thought it was super good it was, this, that was I, probably my it's favorite. not what i was supposed to wear when i was packing for the show to go um i had actually ordered something it was like a 1930s oh, yeah. like really cool it was like a sailor like a red white and blue sailor bikini it was like a true bikini it was really really fun it was um like real vintage but i didn't make it in the mail in time uh-huh. like i ordered it and it was back on back order and it was coming and coming and you know i had the hurricane and all kinds of stuff when we were like getting ready to oh. film this past year so like all a lot of my stuff that i was supposed to bring got stuck in the mail yeah so i, I remember you, your feather dress your mm-hmm. mom ended up making because my I- feather dress my mom made 24 hours of where it flew drag race that's a mom yeah that's a mom i told her i was like mom um what do i do like she's like honey i, I was like I'm, I'm just freaking out like what do i do i don't have a feather look that i invested in a feather look and i said i was like needing a feather look for a pageant that i was doing you know of course uh-huh but she she was like you know what she's like i will make something work she's like i don't want to stress and i was like what I was like, my mom used to make wedding gowns in college. That's how she like, oh, paid wow. for, that's how she paid for school. Oh so my she, goodness. So she, she has a lot of sewing experience and design family. experience. Yeah, she's really cool. Did she glue them or how do you, she glued do you them. work yes, with feathers? She glued them. And then I, and then the workroom, a couple of the girls and I helped me finish it. So I sewed the top and then we glued the bottom. Yeah, it was beautiful. So, so back to last night. Mm-hmm. So we had the Alaskan. The second one was Miami fur. Miami summer realness. Yeah, but it had to be fur. It didn't have to be fur, but it just had to like prove that you we were cold and we were trying to warm ourselves up. And let me tell you, so I, I said, wear- if you ever lived in Miami, I lived in Miami. It is you don't need a fur anything. <laughs> you need I'm an, sure. uh, air conditioning. You know how much my electricity bill was when I lived in Miami mm. for one month? It was three hundred dollars because that air conditioning was just on for air for twenty four. It wasn't for me cooking a lot. I'll tell you that mm. it was for the, the laundry and and the air conditioning and the television that's rough that's insane that was absurd i was like oh my god what have i gotten myself into like luckily it was just a short-term thing and i moved to oh another gosh. part of florida but yeah i'd even lived in florida before and i was still i was still blown away anyway 
Jimmy, can anybody do you want to say hi to camera? <laughs> Blair has a very cute. What kind of dog? Is he's he? a French Gen, so he's half um, Frenchy and a half Boston Terrier. He's very cute. He's super cute. His name is Jimmy Chu, and we're he's getting in that picture of you. Mm -hmm. he, we have a photo shoot together. We're gonna do another, and we're getting another dog named um, Prada. Isn't that cute? Like because we have Jimmy Chu, and that was a cute name, so we're like we have to do something fun, uh -huh. and it's a girl. Aww, yeah. I can't wait to meet her. Um, so that was your your second look. Was mm -hmm. I love that. And did you have any anecdotes about that look? Yes. I was going to wear my North Santa Claus. Pole, my, my, like, my Mrs. Claus kind of like look. And I was like, well, this doesn't make any sense. So I brought a couple furs with me and I brought some other stuff. But the majority of the stuff I brought was planned out for runways or planned out for challenges. So I was like, well, what do I have left? And that's why I was nervous. I was like, I'm wearing a fur. Like, it's real, but like, it's fur. Like, I, that's it. Like, so I like glammed it up and I made it like 1950s. So I was like trying to like make story with it because I was like I was nervous. I liked that one. I liked that and and Cameron's look for that. Mm -hmm. um, Cameron's is cool. Cameron's yeah. And um, then your third look is the one that you made in yes in the workroom. Work room. In the workroom. And I think it was one of the only people that really sewed a garment. Uh, I think Asia did. Um, I, I mean others did, but I, I a lot were you know like glued, um, which is nothing wrong with gluing. Or just like really constructed, like it was cool and avant-garde, mm -hmm. but I, I sewed like a real. Yeah, I can garment. tell you. I mean, it's it's upstairs. We were just looking at mm -hmm. it, and, and you know, like when when you film, you have a lot of time where you have to like set stuff up or whatever. So you know, or when you were changing mm -hmm. your makeup, I was checking out your garment. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, so what? Let's see what they're saying about sure. their what? What's the um? Was Snapshot the actual runway song during filming or is it edited in? So we filmed Ooh. runways twice. Every time we'd rock it, the runway twice. Once we filmed with Snapshot blaring, which was, oh, every time I hear that song, I get, gives me life. I'm just like, I was like, Ooh, I'm ready to pose. <laughs> and then um, we do it silently with the judges talking over us. Mm. Just critiquing or saying silly things. That must, does it feel weird to like run away? So weird. So it's completely <laughs> silent. And all of a sudden you have like, uh, who was it? it was Ross Matthews I was walking in this gown episode two that you guys already saw and he was talking about like that gown was made by a human Sasquatch or something and I'm just like cracking up inside mm -hmm. but like keeping like this like face like oh I'm beautiful beautiful laughing about your Sasquatch comment with my beautiful face <laughs> it's so funny um I was trying to see, see um comment which which look you like the best I, I know somebody did but the chat someone said like the the Alaska Alaskan one. one um I'll ask this. Uh, see, do you want to talk about Farmer Rusical? I'll ask this one more time. In the case you missed the first time, what happened during the Farmer Rusical? Clearly, Blair can at least tap dance. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I can dance. Um, that was a rough day. I, I'm not making here to make any excuses about myself at all or like what I did, but um, I did cut my foot that day. Ooh. on off stick set so okay, i really gashed it i was also wearing bigger heels than i normally dance in um and this floor is also slippery i was also terrified and super nervous there was cameras everywhere so it was a lot of things that just made and you me... had a list uh... mm -hmm. but if you do go back and look i wore different shoes for the rehearsal than i did for the actual performance because um you know there's just a lot of stuff that goes into it so clearly i was like very fumbly that day but they didn't show when we First met Alyssa. Alyssa asked each of us, give me an eight count. So I did a tap step and then like a, a double pirouette yeah. twirl. And she was like, oh, you can dance, girl. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, like I'm a theater dancer, not yeah. a drag dancer by any means. And um, yeah, after that, like when we were given steps, you know, each of us had some sort of fumbling moment. Well, what I told you off camera in private was... That because you said Alyssa was really pushing you, very yeah. And I said the reason she was pushing you is because she saw that you could do, you had it. If she if she didn't think that you had it, she would have left you alone and she mm -hmm. would have put you in the back row. And that's right. She mm -hmm. told me she loves Blair. That's so sweet. I love Alyssa. I she's she was, she was honestly a pleasure to work with. And I saw a couple comments that were negative that someone said, "Oh, Alyssa was pushing Blair. Alyssa was being mean." Alyssa is a sweetheart. I love her. I Nothing love her, ill yeah. about her. And she'll push you to bring oh, out the best one. in you. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we're going to wrap this up, guys. And thank you so much for joining. Make sure you subscribe to Blair's new
bank coming out. And <laughs> we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> Bye. Hey, babe.